Hi, hello. This is Timmy Tokwe Ulule once again. Coming back to fill you in on what's going on on the current season of Big Brother Niger 2019 Pivot Them Gang Season 4. Okay, let's talk about fraud. Fraud has broken down in tears again. Fraud broke down in tears as a result of the things he went through in his life during the period that he went for the Big Brother Niger audition. How he got into depression, how his landlady was trying to kick him out of the house he was currently living in, how his mother was sick and was admitted into the hospital for surgery and so on and so forth. So as a result of that, he broke down when he was recounting his experience with his housemates and his housemates were consoling him. But now again, fraud broke down again. When I come across this, I was a little surprised. We're like, what? I mean, why does it keep breaking down? Uh, he's a guy for heaven's sake. But then again, I remembered, I said, no, there's actually nothing wrong with him breaking down. There's nothing bad in, in anyone crying. He just, he just seems to be a very emotional guy. Which is okay. In this day and age where guys are always told to man up and not cry, they're supposed to man up and be a man and not cry, it's okay to cry. It's okay. And I guess that's just him. That is just who he is. He's emotional and that is how he releases his um, emotion. I guess the guy, he loves to be emotional. He's an emotional guy and he cries easily. Anyways, brought broke down in tears recently because Esther turned him down. Unfortunately, Esther turned down his advances. It seems like Fraud actually has some feeling for Esther. He really likes her and wants to have something much more intimate with her. But Esther turned him down. Esther turned him down. And he said this. He said he was talking to Esther. He said, hold me down when I want to lose it. Those times I want to throw tantrums, tell me to shut up and listen and will listen. If anyone says it, I won't listen. You're the only one that can do that. I talk a lot. I need someone to counsel me. And in response, Esther said, I don't understand what you mean by when you want to lose it. You can find someone else to counsel you. It doesn't necessarily have to be me. And then she also added, I will go and bring tissue. Please don't cry before I come back. The guy actually cried. <laughs> and true to her word, fraud broke down and cried. She went to bring tissue and gave her tissue to wipe away his tears. I'm like, this Esther is one. What I put it now? <laughs> hey, she went to bring tissue to, for him to wipe out his tears I mean the main reason is he still wasn't even crying because you turned down his advances you were also the same person that went to bring tissue for him to clean out his eyes come on come on come on wow anyway so that's what happened and uh, a couple of videos are going all over social media the clip of him crying and where Esther went to bring him some tissue to clean up his eyes is floating around all over social media well you know what fraud it's okay it happens people will turn you down it's not everyone that you approach that will or every lead that you approach that would actually give you any positive response or accept your advances so it's okay it's okay you know you cry you wipe your tears off and you move on okay don't even worry about it. so don't worry about it don't care about it it's okay it's okay she doesn't want you I tell you there's another woman that would definitely want you okay so fraud Mm -mm 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 -mm. it's okay it's okay so just a couple of reactions from nigerians you know nigerians would always talk nigerians always give the opinion <laughs> okay and so a couple of people uh nigerians generally had reactions to fraud crying because esther turned down his advances and uh this person on twitter at easy life underscore oye saying see brother brother we mumu hashtag fraud hashtag the niger hashtag esther come on i don't think there's anything wrong in him crying i don't think he deserves being called a mumu because of that crying is not a wrong thing crying doesn't make you a mumu he's just an emotional guy and he's, he's very true to his feelings a very real person that is boy on on twitter said and for esther i love her decision as well that a guy is into you doesn't mean you should jump in as long as you're not feeling the same way the feelings got to be mutual so thumbs up to you too for not giving in out of pity or tears don't worry fraud go man up hashtag bb niger hashtag bb niger okay and also isaac on twitter saying guys like fraud can do better if a girl isn't feeling you you should be sensitive enough to know from her vibe Esther not feeling him is okay, but his cry is unacceptable, I bet. Hashtag Bibi Niger. And then Livy on Twitter saying, Esther knew fraud plus Esther will result fraudster. That's why she ran. <laughs> now that one is funny. And then Tunchi on Twitter saying, fraud let emotions get to him. Esther rejections should not move him, but he was so into her. Guy, man, man up. Hashtag Bibi 
Niger. Now let's move on to what Isilamo and Avala did. This one is quite very, very, should I say touching and should I say commendable on the part of both of them. Isilamo and Avala distributed 80 coins each from the show among the remaining housemates. Come on, wasn't that a very nice thing to do? Avala gave her remaining coins to Sheyi while Isilamo helped Omashala out with hers. And Omashala and Sheyi were very, very surprised. They couldn't believe it. I mean, Isilamo is actually rooting for Omashala to win the show. Let's see how it goes. An eviction is coming up very soon. So an eviction is coming up. We don't know who is going to be evicted. Currently, Ella, Mercy, Serdi, and Kim Opera are up for eviction and so any one of them could go home well let's see how that will work out okay so that's it on this episode of the hot BB Niger 2019 pepper soup stay tuned for more there'll be more coming up please comment like and subscribe to this channel because a lot more will be coming up thanks so much for listening I am Timmy Tukwe Ululayong